Uh, but you can't police people for being anti-Israel or pro-Israel. You can police people for violating the law. We have seen some of that with some of these protests. Okay, so you agree that, that people who break in and vandalize a building should be prosecuted? Exactly. Okay, I'm just checking because you did help raise money for people who did so on January 6th. That's stupid. You talk like you're smart, but you're stupid. Welcome back, thanks for watching. Stick around and I'm gonna show you a state media goon who's either utterly deluded or a lying dishonest hack. Well, I think it's quite possible both are true. This CNN host, who looks like some kind of corporate propaganda android, is debating Republican J.D. Vance over the fact violent left-wing Democrat rioters are having their charges dropped, while J6ers have the full force of the law thrown at them. January the 6th. And since that day, more than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively, to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. The host is either being purposely deceitful about what she thinks the point here is, or she's actually that brainwashed. Uh, we've got to strike that balance. I think that so far we're doing a pretty good job in this country between letting people express their viewpoint uh, but not not making sure, or, or at least I should say, making sure uh, that our Jewish students and other students are able to go to class without uh, without infringement. Yeah. The other thing I'll say, Kaylee, and I, I come at this from a very pro-Israel perspective, and my, my, my view on this is that Israel is our ally and that we should support them, uh, but you can't police people for being anti-Israel or pro-Israel. You can police people for violating the law, and we have seen some of that with some of these protests. Okay, so you agree that that people who break in and vandalize a building should be prosecuted? Exactly. Okay, I'm just checking because you did help raise money for people who did so on January 6th, which was, you know, impeding an official proceeding, breaking into a building that they weren't allowed to be in and vandalizing the Capitol. Congratulations, you played yourself. Well, Caitlin, I know that this is the obsession of the national media to talk about what happened two years ago, three years ago on January the 6th. It's as not an obsession. I'm just seeing future. if it's a double standard. No, let me, no, let me, let me answer the question, Caitlin. Yes, it's 1 million percent a double standard, but clearly not the one you think you've brilliantly exposed here. I'm going to play you Vance's response here in just a second, but I just want to quickly show you how utterly bizarre Caitlin Collins is here, considering the reality of the situation. When Democrats rioted at Trump's inauguration and injured dozens of police, the charges got dropped. When Democrats rioted at the White House in May of 2020 and injured around 50 Secret Service agents, charges were dropped. When Democrats rioted for four years because they lost the 2016 election, Democrat DAs dropped the charges. And cities ended up paying millions out to the rioters and looters. When Democrats protested in front of the homes of SCOTUS judges, i.e. threatened judges, which is a felony, there were no charges brought at all. Despite it culminating in an assassination attempt on multiple judges. Even recently, charges against violent Democrat rioters at these universities have been dropped again. Are you guys seeing the pattern here? There is a definite pattern here where Democrats can basically just do whatever they want while their political opponents have the full force of the law thrown at them. Let I me mean, look, here, here's my, been my basic argument about January the 6th. If you beat up a cop, of course, you deserve to go to prison. If you violated the law, uh, you should suffer the consequences. But there are people who protested on January the 6th who have had the complete weight of the Justice Department thrown at them uh, when, at worst, they're accused of misdemeanors. Now, again, there are people who are accused of worst offenses, and that's a problem. Uh, but you can't have Black Lives Matter protesters who rioted and vandalized goes free when you have people who were actually peacefully protesting on January the 6th who have the book thrown at them. That's the double standard that I'm most worried about. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I, I don't think there's an obsession with January 6th, but... This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. But it is a legitimate question. And, and given what you just said there, and, and as Trump is getting closer to, you know, as he's a rep presumptive Republican nominee, he has said he would pardon, uh, he was considered a blanket pardon for everyone on January 6th. Are you saying that that, that shouldn't happen? People who beat up cops should be excluded from that? Well, I think what President Trump has said, and of course he can speak for himself, but I, I pay attention, pretty close attention to what he says. And 
Yeah, I think what the president has said is that people who have this double standard applied to them should be pardoned. And you, you shouldn't have the Department of Justice letting violent offenders walk scot-free. And then you have a misdemeanor trespassing case from January the 6th. That person has their life ruined because of the lawfare of the Biden administration. I think that's a totally reasonable standard for the president to apply. Hopefully he does get reelected. And I think, frankly, there are some innocent people who have been caught up in the lawfare of the Biden administration, uh, Donald Trump included, if we're being honest. That boy is good. Is she being serious here? Or do you all think that she knows that Vance isn't the hypocrite here let me know in the comments there most certainly is an obsession and it's clearly for the purposes of political propaganda to help the democrats but besides that don't you just love how she completely ignores what vance just said and pivots right back to january 6th yeah caitlin collins showing just how deprived and deceitful these people are willing to be but the irony here is that they're doing this to protect the pro hamas rallies at universities while exaggerating for years on end when it comes to their political opponents democrats can attack police and do whatever they want and the media is still gonna do all they can to call it mostly peaceful all right that's all i have for that if you're still here please consider hitting that like button and subscribing i post regularly so keep checking back for more see you all in the next one